Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Get your donut as high as possible. You must be holding hands with the people on either side of you at all times. Highest donut after 100 seconds wins. If your donut is in the air after 100 seconds, its height will be measured from where it lands. So just to explain that final line, you can't just fling it up in the air at the end. It will be measured from where it lands. OK. okay. So everyone needs to hold hands now. It's, so it's only the donut, the fifth one up. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, ready, yeah. OK, well, James is going to blow the whistle. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Best of luck to you. <laughs> OK, 100 seconds. <laughs> Goodness me. Hmm. <laughs> you got dragged around. I did, which is incredible, considering I'm knocking on the door of 30 stone. <laughs> I can show you a freeze frame of the exact moment the 100 seconds was up. Yes, please. So this is what was going on the stage. Your facial expression's pretty good. <laughs> it looks like Greg's being stalked by himself. <laughs> <laughs> so out of the ones we can see there, uh, Phil's is actually just higher than James's. Then we've got Kerry's, but I think out of everyone, Kerry was the only one who let go of other hands enough to then put it on her head. Do you have anything to say about that, Kerry? I do. Sorry? <laughs> Did you, you let go with both hands and you... I didn't let go. I was thrown around and I took the opportunity to move let things go. forward. Mm. You got free. You should have connected yourself back up. I did you connect did. myself back up. Uh, you, did a, you did a sneaky drop and grab. You know what you did. <laughs> There are two donuts we can't see. Jess is just below the stage there, but it is still in existence. So Jess got the donut lower than it actually was at the beginning. But she didn't no, break any rules. James got the donut lower than it was in the beginning. By mm. kicking it off. By cheating. Yeah, it's a shame. It wasn't cheating. It was mean-spirited. But, mm. hey, it's a tough game, baby. <laughs> I don't like that new catchphrase. Rod's donut ended up with that lovely lady at the back there. And you can see her on the screen there as well there. So, we say that Kerry gets zero points for releasing and grabbing. I'm afraid so. Fair enough. So Jess is actually in fourth, gets two points. James gets three, Phil gets four, but the winner of that task is Mr Rod Gilbert. <laughs> Standing in a queue, draw the most accurate pictures. Alex will show the person at the back of the queue a picture. The person at the back of the queue must draw this picture on the back of the person in front of them. Wow. The person at the front of the queue must draw the picture they think has been drawn on the back of their pad. You have one minute per drawing. No one may communicate with anyone else. The team with the most accurate three drawings wins. So can I just check, have I been put on a team with David Baddiel? <laughs> can I just say, we've done it alphabetically. OK. The thinking is... There's a team of three there will have to pass one drawing across two backs. But to make it fair, you're with David Baddiel. <laughs> <laughs> Please can the people at the back of the queue come and have a look at what I've got on my card. That's you and Ed, Joe. Have a little look at that. You may now no longer communicate, <clears throat> except with your finger. OK, you have one minute, starting... Let's draw. What, what are you doing? No communication, please. No communication. I can't communicate. <laughs> He was gripping Ed's finger and stopping him from doing anything. <laughs> the most sensuous of the tasks we've done, I think. Right? Well, it depends how you look at it. <laughs> right, David, that's, that's it. That's all you get, mate. Six Do seconds again? left. Six oh. seconds. What are you doing? Why are you still drawing? <laughs> stop the drawing. Stop the drawing. Right. 
the fuck have you done? No communication. Please wait. Please wait. Please stay. Stay at the front. Stay at the front. You were literally just drawing anything. Uh, Rose, show Greg what you've done. Just hold it up and prop it on the table, please. Thank you. That is a lovely cow. A dog? A cow or a dog? OK. A and David, please David, show them what you you've done. David, prick. So, I don't know how you've got eyes and eyeballs. Yeah. Well, you were supposed to do a horse. <laughs> a horse. Oh, yeah. well done. It didn't occur to me it wouldn't be a person. It, did you hear that? He just said, it didn't occur to me that it wouldn't be a person. Yeah. <laughs> OK, please, uh, David, come to the back of the queue. Yeah. And, uh, Ed, can, can you this. turn can over a couple this. of pages? So it's blank. And I'd like David and Rose to come and have a look and see what's on my card. Going to be a human face. Isn't you it? may no longer. <laughs> you may no longer communicate. Okay, you have one minute. Starting. Let's draw. Can't wait to see this. <laughs> I'm doing this again. You're doing it again. No, David, that's, you can't David, do it again. <laughs> this is this is all communication. It, it's no, not. Ten helping. seconds. Ten seconds. Ten don't, seconds. Don't get your team disqualified, please. Five seconds no. left. <laughs> Oh, guys. OK. I'm really sorry. Ed, do you want to show, first of all, Greg, what you've drawn? Yeah, sorry, we cheated a bit. The communication really helped. <laughs> Why did you do that? That's what you did on my back. That is not what I did on your back. Thank you. Katie, please reveal. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> wow. At best, I would say it was a jellyfish. <laughs> well, they were supposed to draw. A church. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to give that to them. Because there, there are at least angles in it. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to give that to the gents. OK, yeah. so it's 1 1, and it's time for the decider. So, the if you big could all... one. Okay, okay, come, come right. to the back of the queue. Oh, Ed, come we to the back of the it. queue. Who's that range? <laughs> <laughs> OK, my tactics for this one is feel what I'm doing, don't just decide to do your okay, own thing. OK. <laughs> no, I get that. I get that. Ed and Katie, please come and have a look at what's on the card. Oh, OK. No communication from now on, please. <laughs> you have one minute. Starting. <laughs> Katie's using very big flamboyant movements at the back. <laughs> Look at the stance on Gamble. Right, yeah. <laughs> Two seconds left. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. No communication. Wow. <laughs> Joe Brand, please show Greg what you've drawn. Oh. What do you think you've drawn, Joe? Fuck no. <laughs> it looks to me like the close up of a uh, human hair follicle. <laughs> okay, we've got a human hair follicle we on see. this side. <laughs> we can take the story. Can David, I... Yes, please show Greg what you've drawn. <laughs> Is it a cubist men's genital? <laughs> Would you like to see it? <laughs> we went to do three aubergines. I've come to my decision. Let's get it out of the way with now. Five points to the ladies, three points to the gents. There we have it. The ladies win five points there each. <laughs> come back down. We'll add those to the final score. Uh, pack for your holiday. All items must either be packed in your hand luggage or worn on your body. <laughs> Fastest wins. OK, so everything's got to be either in there with a the zip shut or worn as if you were checking in. You need to be checked in. Simple as that. Packing for all. holiday. Fastest wins. Any questions, contestants? Can we take our blouses off? <laughs> ah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so when you, when you finish, just stand next to your bags. Good luck. You ready, Joe? Your time starts now. <laughs> oh, that one's shut. It's got a shut. Yeah, it looks shut. Don't worry about that. And all these sweets have to go in. I'm done. I've done. I a think lot of sweets. Are we done? I think so. I don't think you're wearing the bucket. You can't wear a bucket. You can wear a bucket. 
Is he wearing a bucket? I think so. You can't wear a spade. You can't wear a spade. What? <laughs> He's not wearing the pinata. <laughs> That's got to be shut. Got to do the zip up, please. I'm never going to shut it. You have to shut it. <laughs> I'm wearing it as a ring. There's a lot of sweets. There's a lot of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, are you done? Yeah. Catherine Ryan is done. Yeah. I think two people have uh, given up, so I think that's probably. There there it is. What a horrendous mess that was. <laughs> Alex, did that go as planned? It went exactly as planned. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you, uh, Catherine came in third with two minutes 34. Nice. Uh, we're happy with her outfit. John, she was wearing the pinata as a bracelet. As an accessory, yep. Perfectly John, acceptable. John, two minutes and four seconds in second place. Richard, one with one minute and 18 seconds. Uh, and these two didn't finish. You didn't finish. So, uh, that. Walk over and hit that drum in exactly 9.58 seconds. <laughs> also, there are two bonus points for the person with the most magnificent... Walk. <laughs> the four who are not walking are going to be blindfolded in case they get hints on what is most magnificent. James, you're first. We're going left Not to right. First. Come on, James. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Um, what happens if we fall off the stage? Oh, you don't need to walk blindfolded. You should be all right. <laughs> OK, Craig, are you ready for the first walk? I'm ready for the first walk in 9.58 seconds. On my whistle. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, hands on heart, that is not far away from your normal walk. <laughs> Next to walk is Jessica Nappett. Good luck, Jess. <laughs> Set the bar pretty high. <laughs> Kiri Godwin, please remove uh, your blindfold. Uh, unless you're going to set yourself on fire, you're not going to win. Okay? <laughs> please walk on the whistle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Wow. Right. <laughs> what a horrible character. <laughs> Please walk on the whistle. <laughs> Welcome, Rod. <laughs> OK, I need you for this. I will do whatever you say if you could start on the mark. You're going to walk me down the... Uh... Am I? Ah, it's nice to know that Jess isn't the only one who's going to get hurt. <laughs> was eventful. <laughs> if I don't win this task now, you are dead inside. I mean... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two points for the most magnificent award.
Now, let's hear about the timings. Yeah, it is less good news for Jess in terms of <laughs> who was closest to 9.58 seconds. Jess struck the drum after 27.20 <laughs> seconds. With, in fourth place, yeah. gaining two points, he struck the drum after 6.1 seconds, 3.48 seconds out. That's Phil Wang. Ah! Oh. <laughs> two points. Very close to that, but very close to that. In third place, uh, 6.15 seconds was Kerry Godleman. She gets three points. Quite by fancy. Right. Exactly, this is amazing, exactly 11.18 seconds. <laughs> James Acaster in second place, four points. Rod Gilbert, walking on his hands, struck it in nine seconds and wins five points. <laughs> Blow up the biggest balloon whilst blindfolded. You have 100 seconds and one balloon. Oh, simple task. It's a good task. So, you've got exactly 100 seconds to blow the biggest balloon you can from the moment that Alex blows the whistle. Yeah, there are a couple of things. You only have one balloon. At the end of the 100 seconds, uh, the balloon must be tied. And if the balloon does burst, it won't be the biggest bubble. I'm absolutely terrified of blowing up balloons. <laughs> you idiot. We, so, it's time to... Um... <laughs> can I say, we are tightly locked in the yeah. lead, and he's asthmatic and he's frightened of balloons. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> Are you more or less frightened of balloons than physical contact with another man? <laughs> oh, I'd prefer contact with another man to... Hold on, do we have a choice now? I didn't, you didn't say that before. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have to tie the end? I have physical contact. <laughs> 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 uh, should we start? So, if you want to don your blindfolds now, please. <clears throat> Balloons being handed out. Can you out hold there? out your hand? Can I ask, is this upside down? <laughs> no, that's all right. You're fine. You're good. Okay, there's your balloon. If you drop a Swedish guy's testes into my hand, I'm going to be. <laughs> just to remind you, you must tie the balloon at the end and then hold it in front of you with the knot down. Can I just oh. check everyone else is still here? <laughs> Why don't you put your hand out behind Roshi and see if you can feel a little breast, then you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> Start the competition. Oh, lovely. Come on. You have one minute left. One minute left. I'm terrified. <laughs> You've got to keep your nerve. How many seconds left, Alex? They have 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. <laughs> you must tie the balloon. Frank is tying. Frank is tying. It's very early to be tying. You've got 25 seconds left. 25 seconds left. They are struggling with the balloons. <laughs> stop, stop this. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What's Stop happening? It. You've got ten seconds. <laughs> ten seconds. Four. Three. One big last two, cheer. Ten seconds left. One. You must hold your balloon at the other side now. I'll just... That's fine. <laughs> and that, just... that was one of the most terrifying things that's ever happened to me. <laughs> You may now take your blindfolds off. Oh, well, I've had a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say Whittacombe has blown his lead. <laughs> Blue, can you all retake the chairs, please? Ladies and gentlemen, the balloon blowers. Uh, welcome back. Incredibly tense balloon task. Alex, who won the task? In a lovely way, Roisin won the task. She won the honour back. So well done, Roisin. Roisin Party. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Really, really nice balloon blowing. Mm. Thank and I was you. quite, I was quite patronising when I said that, but I didn't mean to. I was just pleased for your honour. It's because you've done so badly it's in all blowing. the others. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim came second, uh, although Tim uh, didn't tie the balloon during the hundred seconds. <gasps> oh. oh. Oh dear. That is a shame. Sorry, so what, so what happens there? That means you don't get any points in that round. Yeah. Josh Whittacombe came last with a tiny little balloon. Well, of course he did. Did you see the size of it? 
<laughs> I was hoping that I'd be the only one that didn't pop. Ramesh came second last and Frank Skinner came third. Wow. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!